The Veeam Explorer for Active Directory allows us to mount a backup of a domain controller and access its database to be able to restore objects and or containers back to their original or new location without having to boot the virtual machine or the operating system within the virtual machine the domain controller runs on. Another great feature is you can export these objects or containers to a local folder or even a network drive for someone to be able to access to recover on their own time. One other feature is within the backup and replication user interface, you can always access this and other explorers as well as in the server menu as long as they're installed. Let's take a look at the demonstration. We have the Veeam backup and replication interface already open. From the home menu, we select backups and then disk. Under disk, you'll see that we have Veeam, Veeam Explorers. We expand and select DC01. This is the domain controller for this lab environment. I right click, select restore application items and underneath you will see Microsoft Active Directory objects. As we select this, we now are shown all of the backup options that we can select from. I'm going to scroll down and take the oldest option, which is 17 days old, taken at 3.01 a.m. I select Next, and just out of good practice, I'm going to give a reason, which is Demo. I select Next again, and before I click Finish, I always want to check to make sure that this is the proper restore point. I select Finish, and now the Explorer opens, and at this time, it's going to mount the backup drive, and then the database. There is no need to launch a virtual machine or open up the Active Directory server to get to this content. This is mounting it directly from the backup file. This also saves a lot of overhead when you're thinking about resources being used when trying to restore other machines. This again is a direct communication to the database. So it's opening the database file. You'll briefly see it calculating all of the information and then below Active Directory it will show you the domain in which you've connected to. usdemo.veem.local I expand and I select Users and Computers, Expand, and now we have an interface that looks a lot like the one we would see if we were administrating Active Directory in Windows. I select Users and now it shows both Users and Groups under this menu. To keep this simple, I want to show you how we can use the search menu as well. So under here, there's only one account name denied. So I'm going to type denied and then select the little search icon. And the only thing I see now is the denied group. If I deselect it, I get all of my accounts back again. To keep this simple, I'm going to scroll to the bottom where it says Veeam SEs. As I right click on this, it's a group. I can restore this group to the original domain controller or restore it to any other domain controller or global catalog server just by selecting this gear icon and I can detect automatically or I can manually put in a server. So again, these are global catalog servers that I can restore it to. I can also select use SSL for security and use a different account in case my account doesn't have the permissions to attach to that LDAP server. Now, right-clicking again, you'll notice we also have the export options. To keep it simple, I can export directly to my desktop, or I could select Export to and choose wherever I'd like to export this file in a .ldf format. Last, down here we see View Attributes. This is a great way to be able to double-check to make sure that this is the item that you're looking for, or even that the attributes are the proper attributes you're looking for. This again is a little bit deeper, but it's a good area to be able to show somebody to see how in depth we can gather information. Now, one other feature I'd like to show is compare with production. If I select compare with production, which is one of my favorite features, this will show us if anything has changed by looking in the item state. So domain admins has changed as well as Veeam SE since that backup that we had taken 17 days ago. Now, if I just want to see the items that have been changed, I can simply select these two. But once I deselect it, all the items come back. This is a great way to be able to efficiently see if something has changed since this backup, and maybe that's the item that I need to restore. 
That's our demonstration. Thank you.